This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. It's just a right that everyone has at some point to say enough's enough. It's dangerous to patients, it's dangerous to doctors, it's dangerous for society. The legislature is discussing a bill that would legalize assisted suicide for some terminally ill patients in Nevada. We have continuing coverage of the 2017 legislature. It tops Channel 2 News at 5 o'clock. We're talking about SB 261. It was supposed to be heard in committee today, but it received an exemption instead. Good evening, I'm Kristen Remington. And I'm Landon Miller. Thank you for joining us tonight. The exemption means that the bill does not have to beat Friday's deadline for bills to pass their committees. Paul Nelson joins us live in the studio after talking with people on both sides of this argument. And Paul, this is a very controversial topic, isn't it? Yeah, Landon, very controversial. Proponents say the bill would allow terminally ill patients who have less than six months to live to die peacefully and with dignity. But critics say the bill's a bad idea and that it's a lot more than a moral issue. Stephanie Packer's not supposed to be speaking here today, but the 34-year-old has outlived the prognosis of her terminal illness. If I was lucky, I would have only about three more years. That was five years ago. A right to die bill would give Nevadans in similar circumstances the option to die by assisted suicide. If they want to, they want to stay alive, that's their choice, but they should also have the right to end their life um, peacefully and not have to go through a lot of the, the, the really terrible things that, that modern medicine can do to you. But Packer is opposed to the bill. The mother of four says she wants to live as long as possible for her children. I want to be here to go to the Little League games and like school dances and all of these things that I haven't, I haven't done yet with my kids. I am 29 years old. In 2014, Brittany Maynard ended her life in Oregon under the state's death with dignity law. Her story was used in California to pass a similar law in 2015. But Packer says two days after the law's implementation, her insurance stopped covering her chemotherapy, but it would cover assisted suicide drugs because they were less expensive. They won't pay for me to have chemo to live longer for my kids, but for a buck, I can kill myself. Some doctors opposed the bill because they swore to save lives, not end them. I can't think of anything more undignified than telling someone their remaining days are worthless that we don't value their life. Proponents say the bill would be voluntary and no doctors or patients would have to participate unless they choose to. The reality is that there are people that have terrible debilitating illnesses that just life really is not worth living and they'd rather die peacefully before they get to that, that really terrible last stage. Segerblum says he thinks public opinion has shifted in favor of a bill like this, but critics say the bill does discriminate, saying 70% of Oregon's patients who chose assisted suicide either had no insurance or government-only plan. Covering the 2017 legislature live in the studio, Paul Nelson, Channel 2 News.